Welcome back everyone, Mr. Talbot here for you again. We're going to be going over kind of how they do our stock market simulation in this video. So um, the first thing you're going to need to do is find the black binder that's in the room. You're going to find that up on the front bookshelf right by the smart board. Once you open it up, it's divided into several different days or six days total. We're going to go through them in order. So you're going to open up and take out the day one handout. Remember to use the buttons, don't just pull it apart. Of all the binders we use this year, guys, this is the one that's most important to keep in good order, so please be careful with it. Once you have that sheet, you're going to take it back to your desk, and you're going to make a copy of the tiny URL that's listed. And it should be a page that kind of looks like this, so you'll make a copy of that. So what you're going to do after that, and kind of going to walk you through it here, here's our day one. We're going to start, we're going to make a copy of it, just as soon as Chrome decides to behave. And the thing to remember is that you can only ever write in the green sh boxes, okay? This sheet is going to do a lot of the math and stuff for you, so you don't have to do any of those equations. But if you type in other boxes besides the green, all that kind of will screw up, and you'll be having to do math on your own instead. So we're going to type into the green boxes. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, you get to choose which stocks you want to buy. And to, when you're making that decision... There's some information on the clear sheet if you kind of look at the top chunk here about each company, about what each share costs and all that, and um, how much you can buy and all that good stuff. So let's say I read through it, and just because it's an example, we're going to say that I want to buy one share of each company. And if you look here in the bottom in this yellow, that is going to be how much money you have to spend. And so I'm just going to type in that I got one share of each. And if you kind of look across here, one share costs $20 of Alexander. So once it calculates, it's going to say that I invested $20 here, and then I'm going to be left with $980 left right there. We get the, and then we're just going to do one share of each of them. You can do whatever numbers you want, though, okay? Shares can go up in value. They can also go down in value, and that's kind of what's going to affect your what we call your net worth. And let's say I want to put $100 in savings. And so I still have $698 to spend, and I've invested a total of, you know, about $200, give or take. And then I put $100 in savings. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to, and I get that filled out, I go and I return my uh, day one sheet to the binder. Make sure you put that in the day one section. Go to the next section, and that's going to be day two. You're going to get that out. And just like before, you're going to make a copy of that tiny URL. And it should be a page that looks like this. I'm going to wait for that to load. I want to keep my day one sheet open at the same time because I'm going to be copying over information from day one to this day two sheet. So I kind of start by following all the directions that are in orange. And what it's pretty much going to tell you is... You're going to fill out this top chunk just like you did for section number one. So if I look back, I remember I had one of each share and I put $100 in savings. And I had $698 remaining. So I have the $698. i am going to put that in my money remaining once it lets me. Remember that we're only typing in the or, or sorry, only typing in the green boxes. We had one of each share. Of course, your numbers will likely be different. That's totally fine. And I had $100 in savings. So I type that in. Okay. Now, I ended up actually losing $30 in value over the course of that day. So um, my stocks overall, they went down in value. So I can look back at the clear sheet on day two, and it's going to give me some more information about those companies, some things that maybe changed might affect which companies I want to be invested in, which I don't want to be invested in. I'm now going to decide which shares I want to sell, I want to get rid of. Remember, I own one of these. And a rule of this sheet is that if it's in yellow, it can never be a negative number. It can be zero, it can't be a negative number. So, for example, if I tried to sell five shares of Alexander, I can't do that because um, I only own one of them. Okay, So let's say I only want to sell one of that. I want to keep my eaves. You can either put a zero if you don't want to sell anything, or you can just leave it blank. Let's say I wanted to sell my ambition, and I could do that. Okay. 
So now I have $753 to spend if I want to. I could also take some money out of savings if I want to. You'll notice you make a little bit of interest each day. Um, so let's say I want to take 50 bucks out of savings, so I have more money to spend. And then down here is just like the first day. Again, only type it in the green. Make sure the yellow stays positive. I'm going to say, okay, let's say I want to buy now seven of, each, of everything. I, I can't afford that because I ran out of money. So maybe I can only afford like three of the last one and three of the one before that. And three of the one before that, we'll just say. Okay, make sure you have a positive number down there, okay? Once I've done that, now I'm going to return uh, the clear sheet to where I got it from. And then I'm going to get the day three sheet. And you just repeat that for day three, and then you repeat it for day four, day five, and then eventually you're going to finish with day six. There's also a reflection piece on day six once you've done that. So that's the process. Of course, if you ever have any questions, don't be afraid to come and ask me. I know it's a little bit 